What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2021 Panini Contenders Draft Picks Football 2-Box Break Random Pack number 16 just sold out. And again, 12 total spots. Uh, first, we number all the packs, 1 through 12. Then we'll randomize the list of numbers and the customer names. Whatever you match up with is what pack we open up live for you. So what I'm going to quickly do is there's the pack numbers. There's that. I'm going to actually quickly... I want to quickly actually make a label for this. Actually, let me just do this really quick. Of course, that's another thing too. The card market is just fine, guys. It's actually just coming a little bit back down to earth. But again, I, I, for most people that have been in the hobby for a little bit, know that this this card market was on the rise as it was slowly, slowly getting better and better every single year, especially with the draft classes, you know. But that pandemic, the pandemic just gave it that extra push it needed, and it actually just like skyrocketed it right to up here, you know, where we kind of skipped a couple levels, and now we have those customers that you know. Are now really invested and involved into this hobby for a long run for the long run you know then you have some of those people that just were in it just for the hype of it and then died down and then they're gone already you know but i know some customers now that are super totally invested into this and they're in it for the long run and they're not going you know like super hamming crazy but you know they're consistently buying stuff and stuff like that I wanted to print out the label for this. Oh yeah, no, for sure. I mean, I know what you mean by that. Sorry, this should have been should have been pack seven. I skipped it. Just pack eight. But yeah, things are starting to opening back up. You know, people are going back to work. You know, people are traveling. People are doing that for sure. I get that part of the aspect, but. But, I mean, I just think that the people that were in it, they were just in it for those couple months that they were just at home. But there was people that were just at home, working from home, you know, getting back into the hobby too, you know. Trying to learn and learning how to balance both, you know. Alright, so there you go, guys. There's the packs. Now, there you go. Pack 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's the names. Let's roll it. 6 and a 1, 7 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Colton down at Karen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
pack 10 down a pack 7. Alright, so Colin, you have pack 10, PJ with pack 11, Danny with pack 8 and 6, Karen with pack 4, Danny with pack 1, PJ with pack 2 and 5, Kyle with 9, Brian with pack 12, PJ with pack 3, and Karen with pack 7. Alright, so we're going to go in alphabetical order, guys. But tell me this, Rex. Do you do you really think the card mark is dying? Since you've been around it for so long, or <laughs> you know, like I know you don't think it's one. Of, I, I mean, I, I would hope that you don't think it's dying, <laughs> but you know, it's really not. It's just settling back down. But again, like I said, with the pandemic, we skipped multiple mul multiple stairs and floors, and now it's kind of just getting back to the normal. And again, that's only because of certain players in the offseason. I mean, I, I still think this hobby still has a lot of room to grow, but I think it's going to grow naturally. It's not going to... It's not going to grow like how the pandemic made it grow just like out of nowhere. I think it'll naturally grow back up again eventually, little by little. And not have those, you know, steps being uh, skipped. Especially with the draft classes. That's the one thing. These older players and stuff, you know, don't get the love they deserve. And, you know, some of these cards sold for a lot more than they normally would have. But it's really that all these draft classes that we've had these recent years that have been just so good. And we have to be thankful for that, too. All right, so Brian, you're up first. Pack 12. Kay Johnson. Joe Burrow. Actually, just gonna put this over here to the back of here. I didn't bring my little team bag, so just put them in a the stack. Colin, you're up next. Pack ten. Trey Smith. Thank you, Colton. So, Danny, you're up next. You have three packs, it looks like. Pack eight, six, and one. So, pack one, eight, and six. All right, good luck, man. Marlon, to pull out two. He actually just signed his rookie contract with my Eagles. Jalen Smith. Pack eight. Israel.
and Robert Woods. And pack six. Trevor Lawrence. Mac Jones and Tyson Campbell. Alright man, so let me top load all this for you as well. Thank you, Daniel. Let's go to Karen. What's up, Karen? Let's go uh, pack four and seven. There's Karen right there. KJ Costello. Todd Gurley and pack seven. Trey Lance and Puka Williams Jr. Think of Fitzpatrick. There should just be some base right there. Man, we're nothing super crazy. I feel like it's got to be hiding in these packs somewhere, right? All right, thank you, Karen. Appreciate it. Pictures over here on this side. All right, a few more guys. We have Kyle. Just pack nine. Dion Jackson, JJ Watt, All right, so there you go. Deion Jackson, J.J. Watt. Thank you, Kyle. And it looks like the last four here are for P.J. Pack 11, 2, 5, and 3. So 2, 3, 5, and 11. So here you go, P.J. Good luck, man. Kerry Vincent Jr. and Rob Gronkowski. Nico Collins. That is uh, on card, actually. There you go. Michigan and Antonio Gibson All right next one here CJ Marvel And 
and Jabril Cox, number to 99. Calvin Ridley. There you go. Alrighty, thank you, PJ. So there you go, guys. So we only had one on card, so... Not sure what the next boxes will hold in store. I think we have enough for two more breaks. So I'll repost this and we can always run this back as well a little bit later tonight. So again, guys, coming up to this, I think is a little pack filler uh, for NT. So I have to do two more, but at least we got that one sold out. Then we'll do a, con a Court Kings filler that unlocks Court Kings. And then after that, anything else that sells it on the website. But we're close on Flawless. We're close on Absolute. Uh, we're close on a lot of different breaks, guys. So... We can be extremely busy for the rest of the night, so let's continue to sell out these breaks. So appreciate it, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.